a nice story from the Gateless Gate in the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Rebse Buddha before history. <laughs> For you to become a slave. That's why you can find a huge amount of people running up to all these ashrams. Because they lost the deep intimate relationship with the nature means the power with themselves. <laughs> they became a slave. Then they think there's a medicine. There's a hospital called the church, the temple and the masjid. When they couldn't provide, then they rush up. They, of course they cannot provide. <laughs> then they last. Stop is your hospital. Multiple organ failure in the eye, see you. And so could, could not become fully emancipated. Why was this so? Said you replied your question is self-explanatory. <laughs> Said you said this, your, your question is self-explanatory means you, you have to go back to the Voice of what Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? Yes, that is self-explanatory. You are throwing things from a book, history, recorded, <laughs> meditation. <laughs> Otherwise, there is no question in that. You can see it's so beautiful <laughs> around. Your question is self-explanatory. Like the Christian messenger said, knock and the door shall be opened. Krishna said, roar like a thousand men warrior. When you roar, the whole body stops for a second. The power is so powerful, it can kill any diseases. For the first time you understand, you are a power. Without breaking them into pieces. The monk asked, since the Buddha was meditating, why could he not fulfill Buddhahood? <laughs> Seju said he was not a Buddha. <laughs> Since the Buddha was meditating, was meditating, and when you was meditating, you become a stagnant, a sitting duck. Stagnant water stinks. You are not a flowing water when you are meditating. Means you are not become a karma yogi. You're trying to grasp something, which you're trying to find out something which you wanted to empty it up, to see the truth, to melt with God. But from that, why he could not ful fulfill Buddhahood? You wanted to become an enlightened being, wanted to become. No, no. And once you are a karma, you, when you work, you love. Anything and everything you see, you see them in the God's form. And you sweat and sweat and you make your physical body so powerful for it to penetrate deep inside to understand the beauty of that Nightingale's song. Inside, you have first understood the love relationship. The monk asked, since the Buddha was meditating, why? Good in not fulfill Buddhahood. Yes, when you meditate, when you don't do your warming up, exercise, stretching exercise, when you don't practice the samskriti, a family sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together. When you are not done that one, you can never become a human being. Cannot become a Buddhahood. Why could he not fulfill Buddha? He couldn't fulfill Buddhahood because he was. Not in love with the nature. When you are not in love with the nature, you cannot be in love with yourself. When you are not in love with yourself, you cannot be in love with your family. And that creates all the diseases, problems. So you said he was not a Buddha. <laughs> Buddha means enlightened being. A person who has not really enjoyed every part of his body. When he understands it and enjoyed every part of his body, talked to Himself, like what Swami Vivekananda said, talk to yourself at least for 10 minutes per day out of the 24 hours. The first time you realize the power of a thousand men warrior. Power of the love. Love can move mountains and oceans. He was not a Buddha. He never asked. Once you understand, then you can love your family, your wife and the children. From there, it connects automatically to the joint family and family tree. There we'll... Bring down all the pain in the society. 
Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger.